Now, birthdays are weird. You now, some people uh, celebrate like their entire birthday week and birthday weekends and birthday months, and some people don't celebrate them at all. Now, I guess I've kind of found that over the years that the one thing that I like to do is just, you know, have that one day to do whatever the heck I want. So, so that's what we're doing today. Uh, got a lot of projects going still. Busy year. But uh, Vanny and I are working on some fence right now and Sarah's doing some watering. So we're going to get after it. So anyways, uh, I was kind of rambling on there and then I walked down and Sarah had something interesting to say and so I thought I'd listen to that. But Oh, this is something I learned this week. This is all wild spinach. So you can just pick it, rinse it off and eat it. One of the ways to tell it is actually, um, well, I already rubbed it off on this one, but there's like this white waxy film on it, and that's how you can tell it's wild spinach. But um, yeah, you can eat the whole thing. So if you're like ever lost in the woods or something and hungry, this is literally spinach that grows in the wild. So that's kind of a cool thing. And it actually tastes pretty good, but I would rinse it first. But yeah, we have a ton of it. So we've been growing spinach and I didn't even know it. It's literally all over the place. Kind of cool. So, anyways, what we're gonna what we're gonna work on today is uh, we got to get the planter box garden fenced off so that we can get the chickens out of the chicken coop. So, let them get running around like usual. And uh, I just don't have time to get this fence done this year. I don't think I'm just too busy with everything else with the greenhouse build and everything. So we're just gonna put up some temporary fence around it and uh, have that for the year. But at least the chickens will get to run around and be happy. So that'll be kind of cool. Okay. So what do we find? Yep, string and. Juice. Yep, that's what we want. Okay, perfect. So this is our pumpkin patch. We've been kind of hiding it from you, but not really. We've been waiting for things to kind of pop back there and it's finally happened. Our flowers are blooming and we have pumpkins growing and it's looking really good. I know it looks a little crazy right now because we didn't weed it at all this year, but I promise you there's a lot of his hidden treasures in there. All right, so come see all this. It's all hidden and it looks like it's an overgrown mess, but I promise you there is a method to the madness. So we have all these beautiful flowers right in here hidden in between all these weeds, which the weeds do drive me nuts. I'm not going to pretend they don't but they do kind of keep the animals away and just keep all the problems out. Over in here, I got a few giant ones already that are doing phenomenal. So those will probably be a little too early, but that's okay because we can use them to make um, pumpkin pies and pumpkin bars and all sorts of pumpkin-y things. And then back in through here, I have a ton that are blooming. And to be honest with you, there's a lot more than I realized there was after walking back in here. Um, I was slightly worried, but then I ventured through and we got pumpkins everywhere and even a few watermelon that I just randomly planted. So we'll see how those do. But right over here, I got some huge flowers going. I got a bunch of bees in here working their butts off. Another thing you can do though, is you can cross pollinate by hand if you do have a problem um, not developing pumpkins. But there's some little ones right here. If you look real close, that are already going. They're just teensy. And there's a bumblebee right in that one working. All right, let's keep going a little bit deeper. It's kind of hard to walk through, but that's okay. So back in here, I have a ton more sprouting up. And this weird little plant right here is my watermelon. It kind of blends right in, but it's inching across the ground and looking good. I'm hoping that one starts developing some watermelons shortly. Otherwise, pretty much everywhere you step, there's like a little, little bit of something. If you look real close, we're out here in the morning, so you can see the flowers a lot better, but I got them all over in here and we did quite a variety this year. I like to do a bunch of different pumpkins. I think that's kind of fun. We usually do like big mammoth ones. We do like the sweet pumpkin pie ones. We do little jacks. We even do some white ones. I can't remember what they're called. And then also just jack-o'-lanterns. 
So it's kind of fun, especially during um, picking season, which you'll see up here in the fall when we go through and we pick a whole bunch just to have a variety of them. It's kind of cool. And you can do a bunch of different things with them too. Another thing we have going for us with just this wild gardening is we have all these beautiful flowering plants and stuff. So they all sprout up so it attracts more pollinators. So then you get more butterflies back here and you get more bees back here to help pollinate all the pumpkins so I don't have to come back and pollinate by hand all of them. But yeah, if you keep looking, there's a ton of hidden treasures. It's not something we really have been hiding from you, but it's something that's been hiding itself. And we've been waiting for it to flower and stuff so, we had to have, so we'd be able to have something nice to show you. And it finally is. So um, it's a really good sign. Things are growing great. And I'm excited to see how this fall turns out with all of these pumpkins. If you'd like to check out how our pumpkins did last year, check out this video right here.